Hey guys, uh, I'm bringing this video. I want to show you the importance of um, pin 5 on the 55 IC timer. I'm trying to get focused here. Um, well, if you guys can see how this LED here flashes. It, if you can see how this LED is coming on, it's coming on in two stages. Now, this is a blinking circuit that everyone uses when they put up videos and they show you uh, how to make a, an LED blinking circuit. This is exactly the same circuit that everybody uses. This is also the same circuit that everyone uses to show you how to make an LED chaser with the 10 LEDs, a circuit like this. Where you have the, the 10 LEDs working as a chaser. So this circuit here, the 555, is what they use to make that chaser work. They just connect pin three of this setup here to pin 14 of the other setup and you have your chaser, supposedly. Anyway, you guys can see how that, that LED is coming on in two stages. It comes out a little dim and then it brightens up. It's a two stage process that it's doing right now now that's from electrical noise that's the reason why the LED does that now if you speed it up a little bit and people do that they speed it up and there you go you got your blinking LED circuit and people make it everybody's happy but that's not properly that's not the proper way to make it because they don't put, what this circuit here needs is a polyester capacitor at pin 5. Which pin 5 nobody uses at all. I haven't seen anyone yet use this pin. I've actually seen people cutting the pin off in order to get to solder something onto pin 6 because pin 5 is in their way. And if you hook up polyester capacitor to pin 5 and then to pin, uh, sorry, and then to the negative rail, watch how the LED changes. It comes on right away. There's no more two stage. It just comes on. This capacitor here gets rid of the electrical noise. I don't know why anybody, nobody uses it. Maybe because they don't know about it. I guess they don't know what the pin 5 does or else they wouldn't be cutting it, cutting it off. Um, but the reason why I, how I found this out is I'm trying to build an LED chaser for my tank that I mentioned in my pre previous video. And this circuit here is what everyone uses. There, I haven't seen any other circuit used to um, to make a chaser work. It's always this circuit here. Sometimes they use the LED there. Sometimes you, they remove the LED so you can't see an, an LED here. This circuit here, without this capacitor, is impossible to make this chaser work properly. It's just impossible. They show you that it works properly. I've tried it. I've spent hours and hours on this chaser circuit here, switching out. If you can see, I have resistors marked here, so I'll know which resistors I have replaced already or not. I've replaced capacitors. I've re replaced pots. I've replaced the 4017 uh, IC. And this circuit here will not work for more than 
three to five seconds with this circuit if I don't use this capacitor. I'll show you what the chaser does. Let me just switch um, power supplies here over to the other one. I'll show you how the chaser works actually. it up backwards I can hear my fan going oh boy the other day you guys don't do this the other day I was fed up with trying to make this chaser work and I went to hook up a capacitor the other way around because uh, these capacitors are supposed to they have a negative side I hooked it the other way around next thing I hear my fan on my power supply run racing like crazy and then a big pop and the thing exploded the capacitor exploded I connected it on backwards yeah so don't do that anyway so here's how chaser is supposed to work the circuit the 555 circuit here acts as a trigger and it triggers the LEDs and what it does it does exactly the same thing as what I'm going to do with this button it triggers the LEDs but see how that jumped right there like sometimes if you get static electricity or you press the button either too lightly or you leave it too long or it skips LED see how it skipped there I'm only pushing it once I wanted to see see how it skipped there quick from one to the other and I only push it once right there did it again there actually from there it skipped one two three four it skipped five so if this if this doesn't get if this chaser here doesn't get a clean pulse um a steady trigger nice clean uh, pulse without electrical noise it, it cannot work properly it'll go it'll work erotically like um, this LED will go on then this one then the other one it won't go all, all on in sequence if you guys catch my drift so the way this setup is here it's impossible it's impossible for this circuit to make that that chaser work properly it just can't make it it just won't work properly I've tried I've tried switching out every component I can find on the breadboard and because the, if if there's no capacitor at pin 5 the electrical noise will not make it work properly but there's many people out there that have videos up showing that it works properly well I'm telling you it's impossible for it to work for more than three to five seconds and I'll be happy like if anyone wants to send me a, a circuit of their diagram without this capacitor or without any capacitor to stop the noise um, I'll do a live stream and you guys can prove me wrong or me prove you wrong I'll be happy to do that but anyway that's the importance of pin 5 I have I came across this because I, I went crazy I spent hours trying to build this circuit for my tank and I just cannot get it to work and then I did some research looked on Wikipedia and if you guys want to look on Wikipedia it actually tells you exactly what that pin 5 does tells you the exact uh, what the um, capacitor to use the best one to use is um, the poly polyester capacitor because of precision it, it's the best one for triggers for trigger circuits and 
while I was doing these chasers, I went on websites and tried to copy their, um, and that's what the problem with these guys, they copy each other and they put it on their website, show it to you for a few seconds, and then move on to something else. I went on websites, and then when I can't, couldn't get it to work, I go to the end of their video where they post up their, um, their diagram of their circuit, and it even, it drives me even more nuts. I get so pissed off, I curse these people off like crazy, you wouldn't believe it. Their diagram does not match what they just finished showing you they did on their breadboard. Like the values of their components are completely, completely different from what they are just they just showed you they did. Like I don't understand that. I don't know why they post videos like that and these these videos, they get hundreds of thousands of views. But anyway, yeah, this this component here this circuit here will not even the, even the, i tried it on a police circuit i tried it on a police circuit here i even have my uh, tester to test the 555s make sure they work i know this system here needs the 255s i i've been switching stuff in and out of here for hours or whatever i can't even get this one to work what happens with this one the the chaser lights it just keeps going crazy like the lights still work fine for uh, you adjust the the pot the speed of the LEDs it'll work fine for three seconds three to five seconds then it'll start going crazy then it'll start working final again and I don't I can't have a circuit like that I need something that's gonna work constantly um, all the time this police these police lights here what happens with this you turn it on you hook up this trigger it uses actually the same trigger just two of these triggers two of these circuits side by side um to to trigger these lights here and all the videos that i see nobody uses this capacitor at pin five nobody uses that that pin five to stop the electrical noise and when i try to build this circuit here what happens is these do not work properly the blue will come on twice then the red once the red will come on twice then the blue once then the blue will come on three times the red twice then the red will come on three times the blue once like it will it's it's not a steady um working uh circuit so anyway this pin five here guys is is important uh it's not important like i didn't know about it when i was building my um uh machine gun um uh, circuit um on my last video but it's probably not that important for a circuit like that but if you're going to use uh, this circuit as a trigger to trigger another circuit like the chaser and the police lights and everything you must use that pin pipe I see people I've seen videos they use a capacitor sometimes um, from um, negative rail to the positive rail and I've tried that it does it it does stop it a bit but not completely the best a uh, capacitor to use like I was mentioning is the polyester capacitor at pin 5 going to negative I'm gonna put a link to the video the thing with that video is the guy explains it in very great detail and um, and the problem is it's in a different language but if you guys read the subtitles to it and um, it's actually a, a good video and that's where I learned about the the pin 5 he explains it in great detail and I don't understand why nobody uses it all they have to do is put a, a capacitor there I don't maybe they don't want to spend the money on the polyester capacitor maybe they don't know about the pin 5 what pin 5 does they just want to put out the circuits get the views and move on to something else I have no clue all I know is that it doesn't work properly if you're trying to trigger something else it works it works okay like whoever looks at this circuit here it's a blinking light yeah it works fine it's a blinking light look at that it blinks on and off who cares if it comes on in two stages right by the way if you guys want to make this a double blinking alternating blinking uh circuit put another uh, led with the negative side going to pin three and the positive side with the right resistor going to positive.
to the positive rail. You can actually hook it up to pin four. Pin four is going to the to the positive rail. You get this right here. And you got yourself an alternating LED. That green light is a little bit lower. I guess I got too high of a resistor on that. And if you guys don't want to use uh, a pot on this, you can take the pot out. Just put another 1K resistor. As you can see, I got a lot of these resistors marked from switching them in and out. Trying to make the, that chaser and the police light work. You can put a, a 1K resistor going from pin 6 to pin 7. Depending on the resistor you use, you got your speed. Instead of the pot, you can just switch resistors out. Like instead of the 1K, the lower the resistor you go, the slower the LEDs will flash. Same thing with the capacitor. You switch the capacitor, the lower the capacitor, the uh, slower the LEDs will flash. The higher the capacitor, the faster they'll flash. So yeah, you guys can make this circuit. Actually, you can use for different things. Like I said, I used it for my um, machine gun circuit hope that helps and yeah if you're building circuits like this make sure you use that pin 5 save you a lot of problems I'm telling you I spent hours and hours on on these circuits and I got nowhere until now uh, I will be coming out with a nice work in LED chaser for you uh, with a circuit diagram and the police like one also uh, soon and um, yeah make sure you don't hook up capacitors the wrong way they'll explode cheers